Seabird 198, when localizer established, send dollar. Welcome to Seabird 198, can you give me a wind check, please? I'm showing you 240. Okay, good morning. Good morning, Captain. How are you? Fine, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Fine, thank you. Are you operating Lagos to London this morning? Yes. ARA 101, sir. Okay. Everything here is fine for you. We have about 78.4 tons for you on board. Today. Okay. Thank you very much. You are we will check now. Let's go through your paperwork Thanks and any lot. other assistance you require. I'm here for you, sir. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Good. Dimitri. Tango Fox Whiskey on the 31st. Lagos to London. Three passengers in business class, 176 in economy. We have extra fuel tankering, yes. Dimitri. If you're happy with that. Yes, I'm happy. Overfly permits. Okay, boys. No, not only. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Compliment of the season. For you too. Um, we have six hours, 25. I mean, it's flight time into London. It will be smooth from here. Some turbulence during the climb out, probably on Niger. Then crossing the Mediterranean will be nice. And it will be raining for our arrival at London, temperature of six degrees. We have three passengers in business class and 167 in economy. I will remind you of all the security procedures, door access code, and the password. We can use the same that we use on the way coming. First officer Dimitri Malevitis is going to fly the leg today. I'm going to do the radio, and you are going to work. <laughs> I hand out the Gendex already yes, signed for the crew. We are two, and you are ten. Thank you. I wish you a pleasant flight and thank happy you, new year. So we will start with an external walk around, checking on the left forward part of the aircraft, the forward outfall valve completely open, static ports on the captain, first officer standby side clean, and wind inspection light without damages. Moving forward, angle of attack indicator. Door number one closed. Pito two for the captain, standby Pito two. TAT Pro and ice detector. Camera for the passengers. Integrity of the radon and windshields. Coming to the nose section, checking the wheels, the steering pin, and the lockout pin removed. Two external power connectors because of our in-flight entertainment requires too, it's too much consumption. On the right side, first officer Peter took oxygen for the crew, discharge the disc, green disc, DAT probe, and the rice ice detector. Two angle of attack indicators on the right side. Unfortunately, the cargo is full with the containers. If not, I can show you the gaseous oxygen system for the passengers. But we can check behind the door the green disc for thermal discharge. Right side, static ports, all the antennas, VME transponder, forward drain mass. Wind inspection light, landing lights. Engine number three in this case, 
Royal Royce Trent 556. 57 Pro. Leading edge, only ice between the engines, only two leading edge are the ice. Access for the engines, close. Engine number four. And a trend, drain mask from the accessory gear for fuel oil hydraulics. We continue left on the wing, outboard and inboard ailerons, winglet, right navigation light, static discharge, fuel vents. The outlet of the engine. Between engine three and four, the rat installation, the ram air turbine, and the jettison nozzle. This type dumps fuel at a rate of 1.6 tons an hour to go very fast to the maximum landing weight. Number three out. Right gear, integrity of the wheels, brake wear, all lines, no leaks. The same brake wear, no leaks on the lines. Wheels look good. Will be at the air condition impact outlet. Center gear will brake fit on it. Will look nice. Brake wear, good lines. Pin removed. This particular here, bogey tilts up opposite to the main ones. We continue up. Refueling panel fuel loaded today, 78,000 kilograms. This is the balance. Now I will explain the fuel system. It's a huge and complex for an ultra long range aircraft. For now, 4.5 on each outer tank. Inner tanks 16 and 17. Nothing on the center, rear center or the drink tank. Aft drain mass. And the after cargo, still loading some containers. That's an emergency exit, door type one, single row for the slides. This particular type, because of the ultra long range capability, has no bulk cargo. Bulk cargo door is removed, so the crew rest container, the crew rest the, uh, compartment is set up there. Tail is one meter taller than the regular 340-300. The aircraft is registered in Portugal, Charlie Sierra. Tail try to detector and the APU outlet. Navigation and logo lights. Elevator and stabilized frame.
the trim contains a tank with up to 9,000 liters of fuel, 7 tons of fuel. Stage strike detector, the after outflow valve full open in the ground, after a mass, the left jettison nozzle, the outer of engine number two, outer and inner ailerons, engine number one, left navigation light, windlet, static discharge. Good look of engine number one. PT2 probe. Get it some nozzle. And as you can see here, we don't taxi the aircraft. It's only a meter and a half, so we push forward to the final standing position. This finished the external walk for this flight today to London. Good, this is our crew rest. We always fly with a rainforest crew, so we need beds. This is like on a ship. Basically, let me turn on the lights. It's two different crew rests. One for the cabin crew is seven beds. Two, 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 sorry, eight beds. So they swap. And for the pilots, we have a separate one with two comfortable, huge beds. One for the first officer, one for the captain. It's a nice first class seat, USB connection, internet, and a screen. You can eat. It's a tray also. It's zero noise here. Actually, there's a hatch that connects to the other one for evacuating when it's no air or the temperature is low. Here is a connection to the main cabin. There is a place. There is a place to get dressed here. On the sofa. And on the other side, there are the water and the waste tanks. Our restock. Have we got enough stuff for rest of you during the flight, please? And hand scream in the premier toilets. And she that has done her job very well. She already tied up. What's she been asked Supposedly, in the briefing? That's the cabin rest. Oh well. But it's not light. Then there is communications and the temperature control. Right now it's set to 22 degrees. You can adjust it and uh, put a higher body. Then direct connections to the cockpit other crew station, temperature control. Getting down is easier.
Captain, INSS, nap, 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 lights set, seatbelt on, no portable electronic devices, O2, two packs, APU bleed, temperatures fine, batteries checked. Good. Less than 60, less than 60, less than 60. Our huge fuel panel with 20 pumps, outer tanks, inners, one, two, three, four, center tank, rear center, trim tank. Hundred and 70 tons of fuel giving you 20 hours flight time engine fire test good cargo pound recorder setting check fcu 1014 370 initially 014 ISIS 1141 1141 1141 31st December Atsu is says 34 degrees in Lagos take off way will be around 270 tons connected now we talk about the box 1219 ground control tower 1181 going to work on the interphone you're going to work on PHF one radar off weather Radar's ground uh, good afternoon RX auto gain auto predicting with shear off four degrees up RX five four one retracted camera hey with information go for request engine start destination is switching uh, looking for one nine zero off now on board is lock we are seven six minus seven and you're on time is three hours are that a switch in five minutes are five four one no status trust levers out of the is off register five of the mic left on the eighties for London Gatwick Manchester and Paris five DLC Mike Miami and Algiers one two two seven two five Ari Care operations. Take, uh, one two five four one. Seven four one. Information. Uh, Radar is off. Uh, Number two. Auto report on Co two thousand. Tikas above and standby. Flaps is in agreement. Printer is normal. So now your calls. Okay. Let's do the briefing for the day's flight. I will be the pilot flying. Okay, aircraft type. Our Airbus 34500. Uh, Rolls-Royce 556 Active database. Until the 12th of January, high flight database. And performance factors minus one. We estimate a takeoff weight of 286. Uh, we have four and uh, uh, Bravo Kilo, Bravo Kilo, Quebec, uh, nine four minus five. Uh, Takeoff speeds will be one four seven, one four seven, one fifty eight. With a flex of seventy degrees. Uh, hello, flex three configuration it will be a pax off takeoff. Check. Normal thrust reduction one thousand above the field and uh, normal acceleration three thousand above. The engine out uh, acceleration altitude at sixteen forty. Good. And. Directed climb two on the climb performance page. Very good. Airline three zero one for the proper information golf time for four. We are at Delta three four. Delta uh, start uh, three zero. Uh, it's gonna be a pushback and uh, northbound taxiing through yes. the link, the parallel taxiway northbound to the holding point of one eight right. Checked. Auto start seven hundred degrees maximum on the EGT. Good. 
the weather is uh, is nice. Runway state, uh, it's dry. The birds are always a concern here in Lagos. Good. So we use the radar yeah. and all the lights. And ground sky four two six six. No new OEBs. No new NOTAMs. Good. We check the MALCDL items. Nothing affecting uh, ground sky four two six six. The ignition will There's be normal. Calling. For the emergency briefing, we use the standard call out. You have the call to stop or to go. If we reject the takeoff, you call stop. Stop, I will. Retard the radar, apply maximum reverse. Monitor the aircraft braking on auto brakes. Priority on my side, left. Confirm, we have a pipeline system to Abuja. Once the aircraft stops, apply the parking brake and call cabin crew fuel station. I will notify the tower for any assistance available, and I will be ready for your Confirm, call Lima, for the actions. No, if Lima, needed Romeo on evacuation, two, confirmed by both of us, uh, we have the emergency evacuation checklist available. Excellent. And it's a 60 uh, meter wide runway, yeah. so we call stay in the runway. Copy. We don't okay. evacuate. We don't quit the runway. Excellent. For the firefighting. Okay. If the call is to call continue. Fun. Lima, Just give me a Romeo, call, call. Kilo, I continue to four, be as a two, pilot six, flying. Six. Uh, positive rate. Just bring me the gear up and cancel any audio uh, warnings. Lima, Romeo, Toga Kilo, is available. Zero. If uh, I, uh, I would it. just like to know, have you received so our flight plan? The destination eight, is uh, Abuja. Clean, uh, the aircraft. Uh, I'll give you the command for ICAM OEB actions. Just remind me uh, uh, that when the engine is secured, if there is an engine problem, uh, we are a little bit overweight and today, about 40 tons. A request of flight we level 350, we are 8 minus 3 crew, a minute. endurance if we need is 3 it, hours, uh, we'll make a uh, right turn over Lagos, Lima or we'll go Kilo straight out uh, in the sea, at least 5,000 feet, making uh, an orbit over the sea and to dump some fuel. Perfect, the high fly. <coughs> Engine out is ID, a right turn 2002 to, to Lima Alpha Golf to, to Lima hold Alpha at Golf. 2002. Okay. Good. Um, Takeoff alternate is not needed today. Circuit altitude and direction, if we are in an emergency, we'll just make a right hand orbit straight down for a visual pattern in runway 18 right. Uh, if you have uh, the time, just give me also the overweight uh, landing checklist. I will keep in mind to reduce my rate of descent upon touchdown. Perfect. And uh, the taxi out we already spoke about. There is no SID here. The MSA is uh, 2,200 feet. Flat plan checked. Already. It's already Good. checked. Distance and the fuel on board and the time. And I have already set the winds. Last communication. Here in Lagos, it's uh, probably, most probably, cause it's their fault. So we'll try by all means VFR <coughs> flight rules and come back to land. Exactly. We can either Stand use Standard ICAO. Okay. Good. Mobile Concerning uh, the unreliable airspeed indication, whoever recognizes it, it calls it. If it is uh, before V1, we reject the takeoff. If after uh, V1, uh, I continue, I remind 12.5 degrees uh, with toga Perfect. okay if we are on a climb out phase um, uh, below 10,000 use 10 degrees with climb and passing 10,000 uh, accelerating uh, will be 5 degrees uh, with uh, climb power Perfect. memory uh, we'll memory actions and yeah. we have the bus we have the, the bus in this, uh, scale aircraft. installed on this autopilot aircraft. off flight directors off and auto thrust off uh, we just raised the gear. We Leg on ground with, uh, from Lima Romeo game. Kilo 4266. Sure retracted. My mobile is uh, off. Mine too. Uh, Lima like to Romeo anything? Kilo 4266. No? Okay. So this is the route today. Lagos, Delta November, Mike Mike. Delta Africa, November, Nigeria, Mike Mike, Mortala Mohamed International Airport. Going to EGLL. London Heathrow, this is the route over Nigeria, Niger, Algiers, Mediterranean Sea, part of France, the channel. Now we are going to zoom in here to see the charting. That's our airway, Upper Bravo 731. Here is the Atlantic Sea, 
here but we will make a right turn join this airway climbing all the way to 370 we have the charts for Nigeria Lagos we are parked at this stage at Delta 34 we're going to push back heading north Delta left turn on the link all the way we will show the triangle of the aircraft parallel to the holding point of runway 1 air right almost 4,000 meters runway 3,905 60 meter wide so just in case we have a comeback an ILS for runway 1 air right and then we have the charts for London for our arrival we are expecting the begin arrival into runways 27. This is using right now a Bluetooth GPS this big that is connected directly with the iPad with a JetView program. We can see here park at Delta 34. So the aircraft will be follow up during the taxi. Fuel quantity 77800 and it's uh, balance, nothing on the center, real center or trim. Takeoff data. Set for runway 1, A right. And barrel ref. 1014. Three times, 184. Before start checklist down to the line is completed. Roger, check. So below the line, please. Below the line, windows and doors. Close. Closed. Beacon. Is on. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. Is on. Before start checklist is completed. Roger. Hello. So on time. Yes. Confirm copy. So out to start. One and two, then three and four. Yes. Number one. Go ahead and take an exit right exactly. Shut. Three level one. one level one. Shut. I mean two. Three and four. Number three. Yes. Number four. Confirm you are done with engine start. Yes, sir. You may remove everything. Sign us on the left. Have a happy new year. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. Same to you. Safe flight. See you next time. After start checklist. After start anti ice. Not required off. ACAM status. Checked. Pitch trim. Is 32. Rather trim. Zero. After start checklist is completed. My controls. Full right and spoilers. Neutral. Rather check. Go with you. Full left. Full right. Neutral. My controls. Up, down, left, right. Clear on the left. Taxi clearance, please. Clear on the right. Lagos Morning, Arik Air 101, ready taxi. Arik 101, taxi to the holding point, runway 18 right. Taxi to the holding point, 18 right, Arik Air 101. Under 314, runway 18 right. The wind indicating. Clear right. Left, Thank single, one, eight, right, departure, left, 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 left
think it's a clear takeoff and end right up left on course, Ruan there, 314. Ruan there, just to confirm. Let's turn, thank you. It's a 875 landing time, uh, 25, back Delta 43. Delta 43 in stand, is there 875? It's a 875, Park Delta 43. Delta 43, is that 875? Delta 1, Roger Nigeria, 111, behind the landing, Echo 190, Roger Nigeria, color. Harker 101, we are fully ready for departure. Harker 101, clear for takeoff, one is right. The wind indicating come departure, takeoff heading. Harker 101 is clear for takeoff, uh, after departure, maintain runway heading, Harker 101. Correct. Okay, so review. Upper Bravo 731. 731, that's flight plan. 350, 0502. Confirmed. And runway heading after takeoff. So, ICA memo. Takeoff no blue. Down to the line. Yes, please prepare. Final is clear. Hello. Takeoff runway. Confirmed. Confirm. Cabin crew. Eight right. Cabin crew is advice. TCAS. Omega Star is good. Engine start selector. Normal. And Pax. Engine Nigeria 045. Full takeoff checklist is completed. Clear for takeoff. Runway heading. Right. Left flank 1. Virgin Nigeria 045. Oh, shabba. Bad estimate. Virgin Nigeria 040 on this frequency. Watching for birds. Virgin Nigeria 040. Confirm on this frequency 1181. Our leg is to have a change as a control, to push up my split top. Roger Nigeria 040, clear to land 18 left, the wind indicating come. Our clear to land 18 left, Roger Nigeria 040. You have control, I have communication. I have controls. Take off. Lego Star, Eric 5 November, Juliet Echo Alpha, safe in Eric maintenance, train completed. You're welcome. Manual flex, 70 SRS runway, out of thrust blue. Check. Thrust set. 72 percent. One hundred. Checked. Rotate. Check. Harry 101, everyone at time 43, contact radar 147. Happy New Year, bye bye. Bye. We send a missing 3,500 feet on KNH 1013 from left 3270 for this one, it drives. Confirm for us, Kazi 0405. That is correct, it's an amazing 3,500 feet on KNH 1013. Turn left 3270 for base 185. Climb. Roger. Just decline to. Pack number 170, descending 3,500, 1013. Ask 045. Lagos, very good morning, happy new year. Arica 101, maintaining runway heading, passing 1,500. Value 50. Check. Block. Arik, Arik Air 101, good morning, maintaining runway heading. 101, radar contact at 12 miles south of Mapa Gulf on the radar control, turn right heading 330. Roger, turn right heading 330, Arik 101. Aga 878, position 30 miles north of Mapa Gulf, radar service permit, right heading 330. Aga number 2 is uh, Jeffrey Bravo 0346, requesting descent, maintaining flight level 220. Bravo Charlie, turn left heading 9190, clear the left, approach one is left. Flaps retracted. Have to take off, climb checklist, please. 
after takeoff landing gear is up, flaps retracted, packs are on, pilot ref standard set. Set after takeoff checklist completed. Arik 101, proceed direct to Nupa. Roger, direct Nupa, Arik 101. Please set direct to Nupa. 878, India Bravo Alpha. Radar service permit, I mean, team score contact control 1273. 1273, hang on 878, bye bye. Check. Now, new track to Nupa is 001 for point six for the first point. Affirmative. Express air 442. And climb. Radar contact at uh, 10 miles out of Navajo Bundle, radar control. Continue right heading 330. Roger right 330, it's a 442. Level 370, call you Papa Oscar Tango, it is 1302. To Abuja, here are Paro Mia 778, Bravo Delta Alpha, direct Alpha Bravo Charlie. Climb flat level 250, go ahead with estimate. We estimate uh, in the Bravo Alpha. Now the moving map says we are passing Nupa that we need to report. We will start a slope here, a parallel uh, offset two, of four, one zero, mile to the right and, uh, four, to avoid some traffic and uh, uh, IATA in flight broadcasting of positions mm -hmm. one to six nine. Eric one zero one report reaching flight level three seven zero. Call your region 370. Okay, right now we are reaching the border with Niger. We will switch from uh, Accra to Niami control. So we will log in on data link to have CPDLC connection and ADS. It's not defined right now. And we will do initial call to Niami, then we will continue all electronic communications. It's connected now. The next ATC is going to be Algiers. And now we have eight active ATC, the RRR control, who's Niami. ADS will come. ADS is connected now. Niami, Niami, good morning. Article 101. Very good morning, Happy New Year. Arikir 101, we just passed LITAC 1322, maintaining flight level 370, estimating Iputa 1341, CPDLC ADS connected. Roger, scope 3247, maintain 370, report no map. Roger, squawk 3247, maintain 370. Call you overhead, NAMAX, Arica 101. We will not call anymore. We'll have all the feature, a lateral request, vertical request. If we need to change levels, we request it, for example. 390 will be the next one. And uh, we request the climb to level 390. And he will replay by a data link. So no communication, the same that we have on the Atlantic. No communication will be needed. Also lateral deviations and uh, different miscellaneous or emergency requests. At this time, all Africa, they are equipping with uh, CPDLC and ADS. At this moment, Algiers has connections, Niamey, Accra, and uh, Senegal through Dakar and Cape Verde through Sal, also Santa Maria for the Atlantic crossing and the Aorra in the South Atlantic uh, managed by Johannesburg Control. So by the end of uh, 2011, the whole West Africa will be connected through CPDLC. The aircraft we, has, we are flying this afternoon, it's a different 340-500 call 542, high gross weight. Airbus only built five pieces of this aircraft. Was original uh, designated for uh, design for Kingfisher for an ultra long range flight from uh, the IT pole in the south of India, Bangalore, 
to the Silicon Valley. So this is a 19 and a half hour flight through the, Pacific, through the Pacific, Polar and Redispatch. So this aircraft, who has a lot of enhanced, uh, this 542 has an extended takeoff weight of 380 tons compared with Roger, report Gala. Uh, the engines are, I show you here, are the engines for the 34600 Rolls-Royce Trent 556 of 56 tons of thrust compared with the Rolls-Royce 553 of 53 tons of thrust. The fuel system is completely enhanced. It holds 172 tons of fuel, giving you an endurance of 20 hours. It, it has external tanks, main tanks one and two, center tank, rear center tank, and a trim tank accommodating uh, nine tons on, on its tank. Uh, also, this aircraft, as it was going to fly through over the Himalayas, it has a gaseous oxygen system that we can see here, this consists in uh, nine tubes that I can show you here. They are at the cargo hole. Let me show you a picture. And this can give you two hours of oxygen flying at altitudes of 28,000 feet compared with the standard oxygen generators with the 17 minutes. With this is no restriction all over the world. So this is a very expensive system. So compared with the 340-300, uh, this 500 is four meters longer, one meter taller and it has 28% more, more wind area. Of course, it has different engine compared with the 300 the CFM uh, C4 engines, 32 tons of thrust. This one has 56, and also 100 more tons of takeoff weight. We are equipped with uh, LCD screens instead of the standard CRT. We carry 70 tons more of fuel. The avionics is completely rebuilt. According to Airbus, these were the best 340s ever built. Those aircraft are equipped with a bus backup speed scale. Uh, with this, we can fly in any condition of unreliable airspeed without referring to pitch and thrust tables. has a, a system called moving lights so instead of putting only bright or dim you can select different options such as main meal duty free sleep festival disembarkation takeoff and landing so we just press and the whole cabin goes to that different options and it's in different colors in the cabin for even festival is multicolor light in the cabin disembarkation it's like a purple light relax it's like a, like a pink light during the cabin Doors control, we can see if all the slides and doors are closed and slides are armed or not. Temperature control, we select the control in every specific cabin of the aircraft. So we see the actual cabin temperature and we can go up and down three degrees below or ahead from the initial cockpit selection. 
waves on the water, we can see how many waves and what they do have on the plane, if there's any vacuum problem in the toilets, or the plan of the aircraft here. So if there's a malfunction, for instance, in one toilet, it will be illuminated orange and there will be a message here so we can recognize the location and the type of the problem. Small detector, any small detector is activated in the toilets or in the crew compartment also. We have an indication here. That's all the other warning system for the Airbus aircraft. So basically this is a, a typical uh, starter, Nigerian starter, uh, which is called lamb suya. Suya is a mix of vegetables, uh, tomato, some uh, carrots as well, which comes with the lamb. We plate it like this way. traffic. First, located on the tickets. Good and tight, gentlemen. And this is Arik 101, we just crossed the Airbus 3, 330. Uh, thank you. Kiran 5810, confirm, did you cross the uh, Airbus 340? Dimitris updated weather for arrival. Runway 27 left. Pilot should expect a change to runway 27 right for landing at 1500 hours. 25011. More than 10, scatter 1400, 13 degrees, 1010. My nationality is Greek, ex-Olympic Airlines pilot, now working for high flying and I'm doing uh, the Arctic operation for a year and a half. 
right now we are on our way to Heathrow. I hope if we check here on the map, we are reaching the Mediterranean Sea. Thank you, Captain. That's the Alger coast. So here, on our ND, you can see different colors. This is the Mediterranean Sea, this is the city of Algiers. Here goes our route. And uh, you will see two values here. It's reading 076, that's 7,500 uh, feet. This is the height of the Atlas Mountains, the highest peak. And the lowest, 3,800 feet. And 8.5 is the Mora, the minimum off route altitude. If you need to make an emergency descent. If I increase the range, we will see the islands, Baleares Island, Menorca, Mallorca, and Ibiza. In a couple of minutes, we are going to see the boot of Italy also, and the coast of Marseille. We are here proceeding direct to Dolis. Here you can see the Atlas Mountains and the Algeria coast. Hi, my name is Claudio, I'm a captain TRE, TRI for High Fly Airlines. I'm retired from Argentinian Airlines from 30 years of service with them. And this is my fourth year with the High Fly. High Fly is a carrier specialized in ACMI flights, also operating uh, for scheduled uh, customers like Ariker in this case. We also have a Finnair, Air Madagascar, Air France, Angola Air Charter, in the future Air Zimbabwe. We operate a fleet of uh, 10 aircraft, two more to come. We run uh, two Airbus 340-500s, three 340-300s, two 330s-200, one 330-300, two 310s-300, and we are also looking for two more Air 340s coming soon this year. Actually, this type, the MSN 910, was originally for order by Kingfisher Airlines and I did the customer acceptance for them in Toulouse. Then we start, uh, then Ariker bought the aircraft and we start the operation, the schedule operation from Nigeria to the UK with one aircraft registered in Portugal, Charlie Sierra Tango Fox Whiskey. I'm actually the team leader of this operation for high flight with uh, Ariker. We started the operation in uh, December 2008. After six months, we received the second aircraft, another 340-500 Charlie Sierra Tango Fox X-ray, and uh, we started the operations to Johannesburg. And after six more months, we start the operation to New York Kennedy that we are doing uh, three flights a week. It's a daily flight to London, direct from Lagos, and it's a daily flight to Johannesburg. I want to point particularly the high performance of this aircraft and uh, this engine. Really, we have a very, very nice climb gradient very high altitude capability, even though losing one engine today, with this weight we can still maintain 38,000 feet. That's impossible in another 340. We'll need to descend to at least 28,000. So we can maintain also Mach 82. That's a long range with one, one engine inoperative. Uh, 
flying performance is uh, very nice on all the airports with uh, configuration 3 for takeoff because of the length of the aircraft to avoid the tail strike during rotation and uh, we can normally get maximum takeoff on all the runways we operate 380 tons well, you have an air. Mediterranean Sea, Lima Eco Bravo Lima Barcelona, Lima Eco Papa Alpha, Palma de Mallorca, this is Menorca and this is Ibiza. We are heading to Algiers. This is the part of Sardinia. Still showing 9,600, the highest terrain on the area. We're flying now the French airspace. We just uh, passed the main Marseille and we are headed towards Paris. We are going to fly a few miles west of Lyon. And we are headed direct to So we need uh, about one hour and twenty minutes. This is a funny application that has a PFD showing 420 knots ground speed. You can check there the ground speed 420. 38,000 feet checking the PFD 38,000. Heading 330, heading 330. Wings are level. And uh, just for fun, we have a mode here. We have a mirror image. This mirror image can reflect on the windshield and you can have an actual head-up display for $400. And another boat that has a camera. So we can see across the PFD. Okay, one zero one turn left heading three zero zero degrees. Report established localizer runway two shot right. Turn left three zero zero. Report established and the localizer two seven right. Okay, one zero one. Heading three hundred. Look blue. Okay. You're done. Zero eight zero degrees. Heading zero eight zero now. Reverse two three eight. Put away nine four. This airport is nine zero. Set to file nine zero. Okay, one zero one. Reduce speed to one six zero knots. Maintain till four. Do you mean? Which is to 1602 for the Indian, Harry K103. Plus 3. Delta, 